Well, hey there, it's Sandy Almach, and I'm going to talk about teaching color theory to kids. And I have some doodling that I'm going to include later in this video because I have a bunch of stuff I want to chat about, and that'll give me some time to do that. The new class is called Understanding Color for Kids. I was going to call it Color Theory, but that sounded too fancy. So Understanding Color for Kids sounded good. And the supplies are pretty basic. A mixed media sketchbook. I recommend this Canson XL. It works with colored pencils, with water-based markers, watercolors, crayons, all kinds of stuff. Basically a Sharpie and a pencil and an eraser. It's very, very basic art supplies. They're going to be learning how to make a color wheel. I'm going to show them in colored pencil how to do some blending to get from a darker to a lighter color. We're going to talk about triadic, complementary, and analogous color combinations. And we're going to also do color wheels in other mediums and talk about how to blend the rainbow together. Get all those colors to blend into each other. We'll do basic exercises just demonstrating what are different complementary colors and then ways to use complementary colors and analogous colors and triadics and rainbow. And we'll even be doing some lessons that you might be surprised at your kid's level of understanding and their ability to do the project. Some of these drawings you might think are more complex than your child can handle, but guarantee you, you put art and supplies and an idea in front of kids and they just run off and do their own thing. Whatever they want to do with this class is great. Some of the lessons are geared toward kids that are maybe a little older, like, you know, upper middle school, early high school. Some of the lessons are going to be basic enough that a little kid is going to just totally love it. So I, I'm not schooled enough in teaching littles to really know how to scale the class as far as who it's for. But I just know I trust kids to be able to do their own thing. You put art supplies in front of them and they'll go for it. They'll have a good time. This particular lesson was teaching them how to draw the mushrooms in the first place, how to make something in the foreground versus something in the background, and then blending the colors, looking at how much yellow with how much blue and what happens when you use more blue or less blue or more red or less red. And then at the end of that whole colored piece, of course, since I'm a doodler, <laughs> I recommended that they try some doodling. And that's what I am showing you now while I finish chatting with you. Because I wanted to talk to a couple audiences for this video. First is my regular followers. You guys are artists already. You already have an idea what you're doing. And I want to challenge you to become an art mentor for a child, whether it's your own child, a grandchild, a niece, a nephew, Somebody in your life who loves art could be, you know, a kid's, the kids of a friend, something like that. It, they don't even have to be near you physically. We now, since we have Zoom and FaceTime, you could be a mentor to them remotely. You don't have to actually be in their presence in order to do that. And if you get this class for some child, Join in with them and do the exercises with them. Get yourself a sketchbook and do it too and ask them to show you their homework and you show them yours. Talk to them in art terms. Use complementary and analogous and triadic and use these color words and teach them the vocabulary of art, the language. That's going to stand them in good stead. They're going to feel like they know what they're doing because they've learned from you. Of course, they've learned from me, but they're going to respond more to you. I'm going to give them the admonition to come and share in our Facebook group with all the other students. Treat them just like everybody else because they are just as valuable as all of my adult students. And they're going to get lots of love for anything they share there. But if they can't share there, I will accept you know emails from parents if they want to email their kids artwork and get some feedback. I could do that. But it's going to mean more if you as a an auntie a grandma a cousin a you know somebody from church some person who knows them that's going to mean so much more to them and then to parents who aren't artists and you're like my kid loves to draw but i have no idea where to start well 
this is one of those places to start. I have a couple of art classes for kids, and you can sit them down with it. They're perfectly safe videos. We're not going to be doing anything that you'd be ashamed or embarrassed of or anything. Um, if you want to hook them up with our Facebook group, there are tons of people who are going to give them loving encouragement in, in their artwork. And every time they share something, they're going to get a ton of thumbs up. It's going to make them feel really good. And that group is moderated, so it's a perfectly safe place for them to be and to share. And if you want to share for them and then bring them over and show them the comments, you're welcome to do that, as well as emailing me if that's what you need to do as well. I want your kids to feel uplifted and encouraged and and to feel like they can do it. Like I, I remember there was somebody who told me once, when I told them I was an artist, they got into this sob story. I hear this from people a lot, and not sob story in a bad way. It was just a tragic moment where they had put their artwork up on the bulletin board at school, and for whatever reason, they saw it slide off the bulletin board and hit the floor, and the teacher walked by and just stepped over it, didn't even see it. And that person remembered that moment and never created artwork after that because they felt unvalued. And I don't want any kid to feel unvalued. And so whatever you can do to encourage your kids in whatever it is that they want to learn to do, whether it's art, science, computers, whatever it is they want to learn, just give them all the encouragement that you can, even if you don't understand it. And watching this video to see what this class is about, that's your first step. You are engaging in something that might be a new door opening for them. And I, th I think that's a good thing, and I want to commend you for that. And then finally, for the adults who are probably thinking, I need some basic color theory. Yes, you could take this class. That would be, I mean, I'm not going to stop you from doing it. But if you would like to be spoken to more as an adult than as a child, I would recommend any of the Jumpstart classes that are on my website. And those classes are all for getting started in a median. And in each one of them, I address color theory. <laughs> because that is, for me, one of the foundations of art and knowing how to choose colors and how colors work together and that sort of thing. And you can get it in the medium that you're most interested in, especially, which is great. The only jumpstart-ish class that doesn't include that, well, I guess two of them, uh, there's one on drawing. It's called Drawing 101 because it was before I started calling things Jumpstart. But the Drawing 101, of course, doesn't have color in it, but that has a lot of shading and that sort of thing in it. And the alcohol ink class doesn't have color theory other than telling you not to mix red, blue, and yellow together because you get four of them. <laughs> but everything else, all the other mediums, pencils, markers, watercolor, all that has color theory in it taught in a way that I think is more helpful for adults. So there's that for all of you. So I hope this class is going to open up new worlds for kids, especially in this pandemic-laden world that we're in, where everybody's learning at home and learning how to virtual school and homeschool, and people may not be bringing much of the art education to the kids. This might be just one way that you can do that for five bucks. It's a really accessible way to do that, a very limited supply list, but a big investment in a child's life to help them to enjoy that art journey from now going forward. Thanks so much for visiting me in this video. Click the like button and share it with your friends if you know other people who have kids who might be interested in a class like this. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.